In this video we're going to take a look at InfluxDB. I've recorded a previous video that shows you how to install InfluxDB on a 64-bit Raspberry Pi. And you can see on the screen this is like the user interface with the 64-bit version of InfluxDB. Um, unfortunately, if you downgrade to a 32-bit, the install instructions are a little bit different and you don't get this lovely front end which has dashboards but it still has the the database functionality in the background um, and you can add other packages like Grafana which has, does have a powerful dashboard functionality that's what it was built for to, to visualize that data but you can also um, visualize your runtime data in Node-RED um, but for today's video we're going to focus on um, installing InfluxDB on a Raspberry Pi 0W which has a 32-bit operating system. We would always recommend before you start um, upgrading any firmware or software um, associated with your Raspberry Pi to do the sudo app update followed by the sudo app upgrade. This, up this upgrades all of the packages that are sat in your standard OS build. So what we're going to do is add influx db to that environment so when you do a sudo app update and upgrade it will bring in influx db so the first thing we need to do is to um, uh, add influx db repository to our raspberry pi so this is the command for that and we can see that now that it's it's um, downloaded that so what we need to do now is to add the influx db to our source list okay so again we there's a, this command these commands are a bit long um, I may struggle to put these in the description so I'll put them in the chat but if you have any problems please let me know and I will forward to you by email okay so this has been added to the list now when that's all done it should just be a case of doing an update we can type that in rather than cutting and pasting and when it runs this it should find that it's got influx db you can see there um, and now it's going to be reading those packages all of the information and software packages have now been added to my um, raspbian build and it should just be a case now of installing influx db so the command for that um, sudo and then it's application so app and then we want to install and we want to install influx db as you can see the install was successful so now we just have to add um, the influx information to our system control file to um, have it so it auto starts uh, rather than we're having to manually start it all the time so the first one is to unmask influx db and then once we've done that we need to enable it in the system control so that's enabled it so it starts up at you know so every time the raspberry pi zero but it still hasn't started we could just do a reboot um, but uh, I'll manually start it now with this command and as I've always already alluded to we haven't got that jazzy dashboard view and everything else so we, we have to use these Linux commands now to to um, set up our database so we can open up influx DB by typing in influx um, don't ask me why the DB is being dropped off but there we have it so we can see here our current version and we need to make a note of that because when we start using node red the node in node red asks you what version of, of database you've got on influx db so this 1.8 is important so now i need to create a database and tell it to to use that database that i can use that information in um, node red to push my data into this database and so there's no jazzy uh, visualization here so we'll have to install another 
uh, tool called Grafana. There are others out there, but that's the one we're going to use. But for now, let's create the database. Um, it's all caps, so create. And these aren't Linux commands now. These are InfluxDB commands because we're actually in the InfluxDB program. So um, uh, let's type that in. And we will call this um, uh, zero project. Okay. So it's um, now created that database and we just need to tell it to use it. That's, that's really important. Now it's using the database. Um, you can manually start inserting test data in here via, via these commands, but we don't want to do that. We want to use low code platform to push the data in um, and make our life easier. You know, Let's use the tools that are out there rather than having to remember all the commands. There's so many commands that we've already got to remember, but thanks for listening. Please click on the, um, the like button Share this with your colleagues and get that notification bell because there's quite a few videos coming out at the moment. Um, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon. Cheers.